Hi guys, Rice here. Welcome back to my channel. So ngayon ay review natin yung bagong release na makeup collaboration with Happy Skin ni Catherine Bernardo. It's called the Generation Happy Skin. Let me just say that this collection is super super cute, super well packaged. Ang ganda ng packaging guys. For packaging A plus tayo dito sa collection na to. I will show you later. So basically Happy Skin collaborated with Catherine Bernardo. Catherine Bernardo is one of the no highly anticipated and talaga namang sikat na sikat na artista ngayon and her beauty resembles um, natural beauty very natural wala masyadong contour or something i think on my opinion it's very different from Nadine Lustre's collection Nadine Lustre ensembled a collection that's very you know very fab and very very sophisticated beauty yung kay um, Nadine Lustre, like the contour, you know, the colorful, super colorful eyeshadow, mga ganon. Si Catherine Bernardo is, I think, on the opposite side. Uh, Catherine ensembled the natural beauty side, yung powder lang, lip and shake tint, etc. So I have here five uh, makeup items from the from all the items she released from Happy Skin. Uh, everything will be linked below. Nabili ko yung akin sa Lazada. Kasi yung mga Happy Skin um, stores namin dito sa Pampanga, wala pa silang stock ni Catherine Bernardo. And available na siya sa Lazada, so might as well get it sa Lazada. Really spend uh, roughly around 2,500 to get the whole no, no, not the whole collection. Hindi to yung whole collection. So, parts of the collection. I got a free makeup bag which has a signature na tinape ko kasi baka mabura. <laughs> tinape ko siya. Ayan, si, may signature siya ni Catherine Bernardo. Like an actual signature. Let me just say this bag is so huge. You can fit a lot in here. Natry ko nang maglagay ng uh, makeup brushes dito and hindi sila nalulukot. This is really huge and really sturdy. Kung papapiliin ako kay Sunny's Face or dito sa makeup bag na to, I would choose this one over Sunny's Face um, makeup bag. I got uh, six pala, six of their items. So, oh my god. So, papakita ko na lang sila habang ina-apply sa ating muka. I have an awful skin at the moment. Medyo nag-slack off ako sa aking skincare routine. Kita nyo to guys, yung red dito. The whole thing in there is dry. As in, para siyang Sahara Desert. <laughs> dyan sa, ano, dyan sa part na yan. I have here dry skin also. Pero ngayon, super moisturized ako ngayon. Yeah, meron akong mga pimple marks kasi ako yung magkakaroon na. Ayan, discoloration. The usual problem that I have in my skin. Meron siyang powder. Wala siyang na-release na liquid foundation or something. Yung pinaka-base ng makeup niya is just a um, powder. So, this is called the Stay Fresh Weightless Press Powder. So, I think this powder is not a two-way two -way cake powder. Yung mga uh, powder na binabasa at as pwede siyang maging foundation. So, I'm going to apply a base before that. I'm going to use my Bello Sun Expert Tinted Sunscreen. This has uh, 50, SPF 50. Tamang-tama, lalabas ako ngayon. Apply muna natin tong si Bello BB Cream. This one has a very, very, very light coverage. So, kung gusto niyong makita yung coverage ng powder, makikita pa rin natin dito. As in, totally, hindi niya masyadong natatakpan yung redness. Pero, it just gives a nice base, a uh, decent base sa powder na ilalagay natin. Sa akin, guys, uh, useless yung maglagay ka ng powder sa bare skin. Sa skin na walang kakapitan yung powder kasi kagad mawawala yan. Or hindi talaga siya totally kakapit. So, I'm going to use the sponge that came in this uh, package. This is what the press powder looks like. Sobrang, yung packaging niya, parang kung nakakita na kayo ng NARS, yeah, it's a, a bit frosted. Hindi siya, hindi siya glossy. It's a matte packaging. Yeah, Generation Happy Skin. Stay Fresh Weightless Press Powder. I think nag-release sila ng tatlong shades. So, yung kinuha ko is yung light beige. Net weight is 9 grams. Yeah, that's a good amount. Sa loob, meron siyang, ay, ito pa yung ano. Sa loob, meron siyang mirror. Uh, decent sized mirror. Yeah. And uh, ito yung mismo yung powder. And then sa loob, meron siyang uh, sponge. This Stay Fresh Weightless Press Powder takes an inside-out approach to giving your skin an undeniable glow the entire day. The entire day. The entire day. Yeah. Let's just see about that. Uh, it seamlessly blends on your natural skin tone, helping oil control. Yan. Helping control oil and covering up imperfections without detection. Safe even for sensitive skin. Okay, so this powder has a concentrated sunflower seed oil. Okay, that sounds really great. Gamitin natin tong uh, sponge niya. Sana nag-release pa ng mas maraming shade, no? So, ay, namamatify niya kagad. Bongga. As of the coverage, uh, may konti siyang, konting-konti lang na coverage. Yeah, pero the mattifying effect is there. Eh, lahat naman ng powder ganun. Magtaka ka naman kung yung powder hindi ka mamatify, ba? The shade really suits me. This is the lightest shade. Kayo pa ntakpa yung redness. Dito dito, tama red siya. Hmm, medyo na cover niya naman yung red. Pero yung mga pimple mark, hindi niya kaya talaga ntakpan. 
I mean, meron bang, unless two-way cake yan ha, wala naman talagang powder na kayang takpan yung mga ganyan. Don't expect a uh, full coverage with this powder. Ganito yung mga powder na gusto ko guys, yung parang wala lang. <laughs> parang yung ano, white and wild photo focus powder. Yan kasi parang wala lang yun, kaya gusto ko siya. Tsaka hindi siya super powdery. Walang kick up. Okay, it works. Super matte yung finish. Medyo natatakot ako sa finish. Pero hindi siya nag-emphasize ng dry patches. Whatsoever. So far, so good. Para sa akin, okay yung powder. Natakpan niya yung aking medyo darkness under eyes. Pero yeah, it has a medium coverage, I'd say. Love the packaging on this. Sobrang nagamit ko yung mirror. Yung powder, para sa akin, first impressions wise, okay siya. Let's try out the brows muna. So they have the perfect brows, long-lasting liquid pen. So this is a bit different from the conventional brow pencil or brow powder. Para siyang eyeliner for the brows. Because grooming brows should be a breeze. Yan, para madali lang. The perfect brow long-lasting liquid pen features a universal brown color with a naturally sheer finish. Eyebrows look natural, never fake or overdrawn. Hmm. The anti-smudge formula lasts day to night long. Pag nakuha mo siya, naka-plastic pa siya. So, isa lang yung shade nito. I think it's just brown. Medyo, ano, tingnan nga natin. Ay, ba't parang wala lang? Ayun, meron naman siya, guys. Kaso sobrang light niya lang. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. So yan yung aking brows. Tignan natin kung mag-work siya. Parang ito kasi imimimik niya yung natural brow hair mo. Tapan natin to. Ay, natatakpan niya naman yung mga ano ko. Bald, bald parts ng brows. Kaso guys, hindi ako masatisfy. Parang wala siyang ginagawa. Oh, meron pa rin siyang bald spots eh. Well, I have naturally bushy brows. As in, kalat-kalat yung brows ko, guys. I still don't know. Maybe this item is meant for those with uh, bushy brows na talaga. Pero kung wala kang hair, uh, I don't know. Kasi ito, hindi siya talaga makakulay ng sobra. Siya ganun ka, ano. Pero may kulay naman. Okay, kumpara sa kabilang brows. Nalalagyan niya naman. Lang talaga, it just mimics the natural hair you have. Yan, and hindi mo talaga siya masha-shape. As in, sobrang flimsy nung brush. Yan, mahirap siyang i-shape. I don't think this is worth 399. Yeah, guys, 400 to ang mahal niya. Pero yeah, okay naman siya. Kung gusto mo lang ng natural, you know, natural hair, hairy and bushy brows, yeah, okay naman siya. Yun lang, uh, ang tagal, ang tagal mo bago ma-apply yung buong brows. Mm, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this product. This is a pass for me. I won't buy something like this for 400 pesos. Para pa siyang nawawala ng tinta kasi nga nakaganun siya pag ina-apply mo. So you really have to... Well, okay naman siya. It looks really natural. Pero kung meron kang sparse brows, I don't think this will work for you. Kasi hindi niya kayang i-shape. Hindi niya kayang magbigay ng volume. Yeah. This is a pass for me. I eyelashes naman. Again, this is this would be very challenging kasi sa mga mascara. Sobrang mapili ako sa mascara, guys, because I have really sparse, really um, short and pababang um, eyelashes. So it's a challenge for a mascara to work on me. Ang ganda ng packaging nito, guys. Ito naman nasa kulay violet. I think this is my winner for packaging. I mean, hindi ka makakakita, makakakita masyado ng mga makeup na nasa violet packaging. Wow! Wow! Ang ganda naman niya. Uh, I think it's not volumizing so much, pero napapahaba niya. Ano bang ano to? Volumizing mascara. I think because of the wand, one factor is yung wand. It's super uh, manipis, pero ano siya, bristled ones. Hindi ako mahilig sa mga silicone or yung mga plastic wand. Mas gusto ko yung Mga ganitong klaseng wands. And kahit maliit yung lashes mo, since maiksi yung, yung wand niya, yung buhok sa wand niya, na-workout mo talaga kahit dun sa dulo or sa inner, inner part ng lashes mo. It says it's waterproof, so tignan natin kung hindi ito mag-smudge within the day. I really have um, watery eyes, so yeah, challenge talaga sa mga mascara na magstay. Ito is worth 500 if I'm not mistaken. I will just link the prices below. Pero halos ka presyo niya si L'Oreal. Halos ka presyo niya yun, and that's my Holy Grail mascara. So tignan natin kung 
mapapalitan niya ba yun? Kasi yun talagang volume and curl and all day siyang nakatayo. Nice. Ganda naman. Wow, that's really impressive. Ang ganda ng mascara na to, guys. First impressions wise, this is a go. Kimis and Glutes, napanood ko yung review niya. Nag-smudge yung mascara at the end of the day. Pero after 12 hours of wear, kasi yata yung ganya. So, tignan natin kung ito magtagal ba. Nag-powder na kasi ako eh. Pero sige, try natin tong si Lip and Chic Tint. I bought the Lip and Chic Tint in the shade Prim. I think marami, sila, marami silang shade na nare-release ng ganito. The packaging is in a pink one. Well, marami silang types ng pink. So, itong Lip and Chic Tint, pink, niya, pink na ganyan. Si Blush naman is uh, lighter pink. And then, yung um, tawag dito, parang color pop lippy sticks nila. Ano <laughs> tawag? Ultra matte lippy naman nila is parang peachy pink. So, maraming types ng pink. Let's try this one sa cheeks. Ang kulay nito, guys, is ganito. Si Prim ito, ha? Naku. Pwede kaya ito sa cheeks? Kaso, guys, nag-powder na ako. I don't suggest using yung lip and shake tint kapag nag-powder na. Yung kulay niya, it's very subtle. Ang bango. Amoy strawberry. Parang ganun yung amoy niya. Yeah, amoy strawberry. Hindi siya ganun ka... Hmm. Hindi siya ganun kakapal. Color. Yeah, hindi ako mahilig sa ganun ang kulay pagdating sa cheeks. And ang bilis niya mag-settle on. Nakikita niyo yung dots-dots. Uh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> ang pangit. Nagsisettle siya kagad. So, you have to work fast. We're just going to use the blush talaga para sa cheeks. Pero pantayin natin, guys, kasi ang pangit tignan. So, ganyan yung kulay niya. Okay lang. Okay lang siya. Kaso, hindi siya hindi siya pa fresh blush for me. Siguro yung ibang shade na mas pinky, yan, mas okay siya for, for blush. Ito na lang yung gawin natin na for blush. The Instant Glow Long Wear Powder Blush. I have it in the shade Freedom. Nakaka-distract yung itsura. Medyo maliit guys yung ano niya. Medyo maliit yung pan niya. It's a bit small. So, gamit tayo ng mas maliit na brush. Wow. Ito parang ano lang siya. Nice wash of color sa cheeks. Hindi siya yung super pinky. Which I like. Mah mahilig ako sa mga, mga brown toned blush. Mabongga! Si Kathleen Lights, mahilig siya sa mga ganitong shade. Mer medyo brownish yung kulay kasi nito, pero meron din siyang rosy undertone sa kanya. So, okay siya as uh, blush and bronzer. Binili ko siya sa powder para medyo matame out siya, pero yeah. That looks okay. That's really nice. I really like this one. It blended out really well. Siguro naging patchy siya kasi, yeah, ito, I think this is the lip and shake tint. Hindi yung powder. The, bow, the powder blends really well. I really like this one. This is a go for me. Gusto ko rin yung undertone ng blush. Try ulit natin si Kiss and Bloom. Para sa lips naman. Hindi, hindi siguro siya mag-work for my cheeks. And masyado siyang sheer for the cheeks. Pero as lip and cheek tint, ang ganda oh. Um, lasa siyang wine. Lasa siyang strawberry wine. <laughs> hindi rin siya drying on the lips. Yeah, medyo nakikling siya sa mga dry patches ko. Like, ayun o. Oh. Yeah, nakikling siya ng konti, pero yeah, that's normal for a lip and check tint pagdating sa akin. Pero this one, it blended out really well. Hindi siya, hindi siya mabigat sa pakiramdam. But I think it's nothing really special. Lahat naman ang natatry kong lip and check tint, ganito yung effect sa akin. And madali lang hanapin yung ganitong shade. If you're eyeing this one, okay lang siya. But... Yeah, this is expensive, guys. This is expensive. Mahal siya for a normal lip and check tint. Marami nang lumalabas na lip and check tint ngayon na bagsak presyo. Yeah, I don't know. Pero i-try out natin ito. This is in the shade Authenticity. Yun ba yung shade niya? Authenticity? Yeah, this is in the shade Authenticity. Ito yung swatch niya. Ito ng shade na to, guys. Pa-fresh ang shade niya. Tignan natin. Ayun, ganda naman ito. This is really, really, really creamy. Yeah, as in, sobrang creamy niya. Ang ganda. This is duping a uh, color pop lippy sticks packaging. Definitely, mukha siyang, mukha siya in kasize niya yung lippy sticks packaging. Yeah, but I really love this one. It's really, really comfortable. Definitely, it's matte. Wala ka makikita sheer, sheerness or 
sheen sa kanya. I don't think this lipstick is one swipe uh, opaque na. You have to really build it up. Pero yeah, siguro two swipes or three swipes. Nandun ka na sa pigment na gusto mo. Maganda tong kulay na to guys. Authenticity. I really like this one. So that's it for uh, the items I've uh, acquired from this collection from Happy Skin. Never pa ako nakatry guys ng makeup ng Happy Skin. As in, lagi ko lang siyang pinupuntahan sa mall. Pero yeah, Happy Skin is, uh, in my opinion, it's one of the brands na parang siya yung high-end ng mga local brand natin. It, ang concepto ng uh, Happy Skin is made from the Philippines by the Filipino. And it's meant for the Pinay skin tone. But yung mga items nila, I think it's made in Taiwan. I really like the collection. Halos lahat dito okay para sa akin. So, to wrap things up, the powder is a go for me. The Ultra Matte Lippy is a go for me too. Okay din siya. Ang ganda ng ano, ang ganda ng opacity niya. The Lip and Chic Tint, Kiss and Bloom is also a go for me. Gusto ko rin to. I think this is one of the go-to items. Yun nga lang for its price. Yeah, mag-isip kayo guys kung bibili nyo ba siya for, medyo mahal siya for a uh, lip tint. Pero kasi, ang Happy Skin kasi is Ano, pricey brand talaga yan. Medyo mahal talaga sila. So, kung makakabili ka ng 500 peso worth na item sa kanila, mura na yun. The powder blush is a go for me. This is also nice. The formula blended out really well. Siguro yung patchiness dito nang galing dun sa lip and cheek tint. Huwag, nyo, huwag kayong mag-a-apply ng lip and cheek tint over powder ha. Kasi, ang pangit tignan. Pero this one, it gave you a nice flush on the cheeks. Pwede rin siyang gawing bronzer. Yan, sa noo ko, ginawa ko siyang bronzer. I really liked it. Mascara initially is a go for me. Later, I will insert a clip for my final verdict. Tignan natin kung nag-smudge ba to. But so far, oh my god, it's so good. Hindi bumababa yung lashes ko. This is the only thing that I'm, yeah, quite disappointed with. Hindi talaga ako sanay gumamit ng mga bristled brush for my brows. I think mas matagal or mas, yeah, mas mahirap i-apply yung brows kapag gamit mo to. Kasi mas matagal, medyo flimsy siya, mahirap siyang i-shape. Ikukumpara ko siya sa price, I won't buy a brow product this uh, expensive for the performance. So, yeah, this is a pass for me. Pero out of six, yung lima is a go. Ito lang yung pass. I think this collection is fantastic. I think pinag-isipan tong collection, uh, it really ensembles um, Catherine Bernardo, yung kanyang natural image, natural look. Ang favorite ko dito is yung blush. Ito yung blush, saka yung lippy stick. So yeah, siguro tong powder magbo-work rin sa akin to. But yeah, kung meron kayong gustong itry sa collection na to, I think it's a go. Totally wala na yung aking lips. Yung sa mascara, hindi pa siya nagsismudge, which is surprising. And nakataas pa yung aking mga lashes. I'm really surprised. Kala ko magsismudge siya. And kanina nanonood ako ng... Basta may pinapanood ako movie nakakaayakan. Medyo nagtitear up ako. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hindi naman siya kumalat or, or so. Reapply tayo ng um, lip and shifted naman. Yeah, yung lips after mo kumain, wow, mapubura na siya. Wala nang matitira. Yan, bilis talaga ikalat nito. And then, uh, yung skin ko okay pa. Hindi na muna ako magre-retouch. Pero, yeah, let's try it. Let's try retouching the skin. Uh, Mag-dab muna tayo ng tissue. And then, I'm going to use uh, a powder brush this time. Oh, nice. Na-mattify niya in fairness. Oh, matte yung dito compared dito. Yeah, this powder is actually good. It lasted really long. Kanina, lumabas ako. Marami akong errands na ginawa. And hindi siya, hindi siya naghulas. Ngayon pa lang 5 o'clock. So, this is what our face looks like. Anong oras ba ako nag-apply? Before lunch, 11. 11, 12, 13. <laughs> 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uy, 6 hours na pala. Sa hours na ba yun? Ang bilis lang. Pero yeah, in fairness sa powder, yung blush, hal meron pa naman siyang konti, pero halos burado na siya. Hindi na siya kasing intense nung kanina. Mag-last update tayo later. Time check guys, it's already 7.30 in the evening and um, this is what our face, my face looks like. Um, definitely wala na halos lahat, pati yung foundation. I mean yung uh, powder. Yeah, but pero kung i-retouch mo ulit to, okay pa siguro siya. Hindi naman nag-smudge sa akin yung ano, mascara. It's really looking good. Ang feeling ng mascara is malambot yung lashes mo. Hindi siya yung wispy and um, spider spider feet lashes. Hindi po ganun. Malambot siya guys. Malambot talaga siya. Pero nakaangat pa rin. Ang ganda nga eh. Napansin din ng uh, mga andito sa bahay na maganda yung lashes ko ngayon. Parang humaba daw. I think for me, thumbs up yung mascara. Hindi ko lang alam kung bakit yung kay Miss Anne clothes na grease. Pero sa akin, hindi ko naman siya na-feel. Nagtanggal na ako ng mascara. And look at 
this mascara. This is a regular tissue. So, hindi ko expect na matatanggal siya sa regular tissue. Hindi ito yung micellar water wipes ko from Simple. And natatanggal siya sa regular makeup remover. Like, look. And kung matanggal siya, ayan, buo-buo siya. It's interesting. Uh, hindi siya masakit sa matatanggalin. Hindi siya masakit sa ulo pag tinatanggal. Alam mo, yung tipong pati yung lashes mo matatanggal na. It's really, it removes really easily. And, ayan, buo-buo siya. So, parang nagbo-ball up yung mascara kapag tinatanggal mo or something. I'd say, if you really have an oily lids, hindi talaga ito magtatagal kasi andali lang, andali lang niyang matanggal. So, that's it for my thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Have you tried this collection? And also, subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Always remember, remember be beautiful, <laughs> be you. Bye! Mas siguro naging patchy siya. Mm. So yeah, and binali ko sa bronzer. Ay, sa bronzer. Today we're going to do Today we're going to do to do this stay freshly helping control chun ch <gasps> satisfying.